Hey investors, this is the November update for Project 1 Million. September was a bad month, but October was a pretty decent month. The portfolio recovered quite a bit in October. I also did some minor buying in October. It was also a busy month because a lot of my holdings released their quarterly earnings results. Google has been a standout performer this year, but I think a lot of the other companies are also doing well like Amazon and Facebook. Let's take a look at the portfolio in detail. So this is how the portfolio looks like in November. My top three holdings, uh, Google, Amazon and Facebook make up about 45.57% of the portfolio. Google is my top holding, um, totaling about 17.43%. As mentioned, Google has been a outperformer this year. My top 13 stocks, which are these stocks over here, make up about 77.11% of the portfolio. Let's take a look at the other stocks we have in the portfolio. So I will just scroll down and you can have a look. We have MSCI at 1.68, Autodesk 1.42. Teladoc has been a poor performer this year but I think is recovering. These are the other stocks we have in the portfolio. Bowson also has been a very uh, poor performer. Nvidia has been the opposite. I think it nearly doubled this year. Ethereum has been a strong performer. I wish I had bought more. Intel is starting to look very interesting. I already have some put options on Intel. But uh, I, once those expire, expire, I might think of taking out, uh, selling more put options on Intel. American Well has been another very bad performer for me this year. Bitcoin has done tremendously well. These are the other stocks we have in the portfolio. Doyu is another very poor performer for me this year. So the other stocks we have. A lot of small positions because I just wanted to get some skin in game so that I could learn uh, more about these stocks by owning a little bit of them so I become more interested in these companies. And so right now our total cash is about 357000 so in terms of performance, uh, it's about 17% plus. Without leverage, we are about 16% plus. So let's take a look at what we did in uh, October. So we bought uh, Rix, sold some Expedia, bought uh, Mercado Libre, sold some S&P 500, sold Berkshire. It's a stock split, bought the uh, UI part, sold Upwork. I had to sell some stocks to make space or to raise cash for the other stocks that I was buying. Bought Intel, bought PayPal, sold Berkshire, bought Twitter recently. So that's uh, what I've been doing in terms of buying and selling. So the option contracts are what you see on the screen. So these Amber contracts are going to be due soon. So they are going to be a big uh, liability for the portfolio. I think about uh, this is going to be 2000 to so about 3500 it seems. This one might not execute so um, it will be about 2750 it seems. So I need to sell some stocks to make um, 
to raise cash for this uh, liability of 2700 for MREL. These are the other option contracts. I am looking out for new option contracts to open for the next year. Intel looks like a good candidate, but like I mentioned, I already have some. So once these expire, uh, I might look at opening up more option con put option contracts for Intel. So let's compare our performance against the various uh, benchmarks. So it seems like uh, we're underperforming the S&P 500, which is about 22%. We're also underperforming uh, the Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust and the Triple Q, which is about 20 to 22 uh, percent. We are about level with the Barron Fifth Avenue Growth Fund. We're doing better than Berkshire Focus, and we're doing better than uh, Arc Invest this year. Let's quickly take a look at how we're doing uh, with uh, Fundsmith. So Fundsmith seems to be doing about 15.44% uh, this year. So we're doing slightly better about level actually. Um, so in terms of the S&P 500 and the Triple Q, the return doesn't include the dividend. So it might be a little higher actually. But it gives a rough estimate. So overall, uh, we are lagging a bit I think. But I think uh, perhaps uh, Amazon has hurt us this year. It doesn't it hasn't moved much this year. Um, also, I think um, Alibaba has hurt us this year. Uh, Mastercard, Visa, I think they were a bit slow as well this year. But I think uh, there's a lot of potential in these companies, and over long term, I think they will do as good. So that's the update for uh, November. Let me know what you think about the stocks we have in the portfolio and any other comments you may have. Have a great day.